So as for me going to school, um, I never felt unsafe at all. I drove to school every day, even though it was very close to me. Um, when I was there, I never felt unsafe. Um, so that's like actually just kind of a huge difference because although it's not actually maybe like acad comparing academics, um, that constant stress um, took a toll on him because it um, kind of distracts from the ability to focus on the material you're supposed to be learning when you're worried about surviving the day. Um, so that was, um, it was really hard to hear about actually because, um, you know, like he had this, he had like experiences with soldiers like on a daily basis, like, you know, all this crazy stuff. Um, but as far as academic and curriculum wise, um, our material was not that different. Um, basic math stuff and things like that. The main class that um, really differed was history, of course. And while well, I had U.S. history um, and world history, I had actually never learned about the Palestine and Israeli um, conflict. So everything I learned was from him. And uh, he is a really good understanding of it. He wants to free Palestine. Eventually he wants to move back to Palestine and work um, for human rights and just work to get Palestine free from occupation. So that's really cool. But um, I would say the biggest takeaway I got was um, just the general how much else other than his schoolwork material that he had to worry about. Whereas um, I didn't really have those safety concerns, so I was able to focus more on school than he believes he was. Um, other than that, though, uh, we had a lot of similarities. I had a really, really great time meeting with him. We mainly honestly talked about the Israeli-Palestine um, conflict. As I said, I hadn't known anything about it, um, and he educated me on that. So I had a really great first meeting, and I'm super excited to meet with him again.